Okay, we've had a memorial service today at St. John's Church in Winchester, celebrating the life of Nick Henty Dodd, also known as Simon D. He was unique, very special, um, the father of my wonderful son, and that bond is always there. He's a very special person to me. We hope it'll be a very positive experience. We've got some lovely music, some nice singers, and hopefully things that he would he would love to be here. We just wish he was here with us to enjoy it. <laughs> uh, the service um, was held here at St John's um, and um, it went very, very well actually. The singing was fantastic, the girls were sang, and the eulogies were, were just excellent. Um, I mean, he was a very honest man and, uh, as I said, very, very true to his word. You know, if, if he told you something that he felt, you knew that was how he felt. Uh. We're outside Tom's cafe bar, Tom Ramita, and he's an Italian Englishman who runs this celebrated cafe in Winchester where all the best people meet for coffee. And it was a place of celebration. I guess, in fact, if you were a BBC viewer, you would call it the last of the summer wine because most of the people who come here are probably over their 50s and we reminisce about life and about good times and bad times and the epicenter of these relationships here was Simon himself. So we loved Simon hugely who told us about his life and his hopes and expectations and was never dull and always appreciated the female form more than anybody else I know. He never felt any self-pity about his past. Here is a man who in his late 20s and early 30s was at the very top of his profession with BBC and ITV between 1967 and 1974. 18 million, 18 million viewers a day on D time on Saturday. And he fell from grace. He fell from approval with ITV and BBC, was never re-employed by them again. Did he feel any self-pity? No, none whatsoever. Here's to Nick Hinty Dodd, otherwise known as Simon D, who brought joy and light to our lives. Bless you, Simon. Bless you, Nick.